Hey, Kekers here. I want you to think. Think back to a time. To a time of myth and legend. When the ancient god... Wait. No? A different time. I want you to think back to the time of the movie tie-in game. I'm Kekers, and this is Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Yes, this was back back in the old days when in order to advertise their films, studios would rush out a crappy cobbled together video game based off of the events of the film. Well, not always. Not always crappy. Sometimes you would get a weird hidden treasure out there. Uh, This actually is one that I put as slightly above average. A unique blend of play styles with creative use of the uh, building mechanics in the film, but an incredibly, incredibly creepy baby character model, almost as creepy as the one in the actual film. But yeah, in general, the whole idea of doing movie tie-ins sort of faded away as studios realized that they could put more time and less money into just doing a simple mobile cheap app that would advertise it and would get people constantly pumping in money. I mean, there are still some mobile app games for films that came out like 10 years ago that are still active and still getting people to pay money for them. But yeah, this one was for PlayStation 2, uh, GameCube, uh, original Xbox, and you had three playable characters in it. And you even got... Wait, let's see, let's see. Let let me see. Hold on, hold on. Is it possible that we do have... (sighs) No. Okay, this one doesn't have it, but originally there was a movie ticket where you could actually if you picked up the game take this ticket with you to the theater and just get in to see the film which is strange that someone would actually buy the game before seeing the film i mean who does that well anyway this was something which would contain uh footage from the film and as the various characters, you'd be able to use their skills from the film to build, to bite, to explore, and go through the events of the story. Now, of the film itself, it was an okay adaptation of the books, though it did rush through quite a lot of stuff and get this quick cobbled together ending. Uh, If you are interested in the series, I do recommend seeing the Netflix version of it, though I must warn you, it is rough to get through. And I don't mean rough as in it's a bad, like, series. I mean rough as in it's really good and it's utterly depressing time and time again. This show beats you down, but it's good. All the actors are great. Neil Patrick Harris steals the show. Yeah, see it. See it. Play the game if you can get it. It's super cheap. Yeah, I'm Keckers. This is a movie tie-in game. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.